Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing breaking into the underwater sections of the island. One of the best ways of doing it. Now, one of the best ways of doing it, in my opinion, is on the back of a shark. That's right, we're going to ride a shark into victory as we find our way underneath the waves. Yes, it is wicked cool. These guys are actually really, really tough. I mean, they're so tough, they actually deserve their own tech saddle. Yeah, it's that cool. Um, <laughs> these guys, they will take you really far. Now, they're not just for breaking into the underwater areas. You can actually take these guys um, just about everywhere. I would not recommend taking them into the underwater caves because you're you'll end up getting your butt kicked right quick, but everywhere else, these guys will go. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing that'll really take these guys out are uh, um, two so toothuses and uh, uh, the alpha variety plus also alpha moses. But then again, if you get a really well imprinted shark with a real and get it really well leveled, you can actually start taking those guys out pretty effectively. It's really wicked cool. These guys, they pack a punch, they can take a hit, and it's really, really cool. So grab your scuba gear, grab your flippers, grab your patented leather flinger pants, and I'm talking about the scuba pants. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we're going to head off into the waves. All right. So, hey, let's go talk about mega, uh, megalodons. All right. See you guys in a minute. All right, so finding megalodons is actually pretty dang easy. Usually, you can just duck down into the water like this, and you can usually find some megalodons pretty dang quick. But, um, if you're having problems with it, um, you can just come over like this, over into the big ocean, and just dangle your meaty bits into the water, and they'll usually aggro. Um, and see, there's none over like this. But, um, sometimes at lower levels, before you're even ready to get into the oceans, and I would recommend not trying to get into the oceans until you're about level 60 or so, um, because here, let me show you. Scuba gear... Well, 81, actually. Okay, eight, level 81, all right? That's the level I would recommend you get. try to start getting into the oceans. Um, but um, if you uh, see a target of opportunity, and what I mean by that is sometimes megalodons, they'll uh, swim into the lakes over in areas like this, and you can find them, and they'll actually be uh, just chilling out in the lakes which make, or into the rivers, which makes them really, really easy to tame. Yeah, I've been pretty active in this area, so there's none over here. But yeah, um, early on in the game, um, especially when you get like fresh spawns, you'll get, um, occasionally you'll get megalodons that are inside over here, which makes it like their own little taming pen. There's only one way out, and it's over like this. And usually by the time they're running from you, it's too late for them, and that you can just shoot them in the butt and then get them knocked out that way. But since uh, we don't have any over there, there's actually a really effective way of luring them. Oh, that was a rock. Holy crap, I ran by it, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> it was a rock. All right, so hey, if you're a rock, just say you're a rock, man. Gosh, make me jump there. All right, um, but yeah, a Pelagornis. Now, this is actually one of the most effective ways of luring just about any mammal life around, or any uh, underwater, uh, any marine life, not mammal life, marine life, by luring them around. It's actually really, really cool. Um, because they will naturally uh, lure just about everything around. Let me show you. You pop down like this. And then you just kind of work your way around. And they will automatically attract sharks, manta rays, all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can get over here. And let me see if I can find one. Alright, I'm going to cut the camera and I'll bring you guys back as soon as I can find one. See you guys in a minute. Okay, I spotted one. And, of course, I'm attracting dolphins. All right, there's one over here. There you are. Come here, Mr. Megalodon. I see you down there. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. There it goes. Oh, my gosh. It's coming right at me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, see, right here. This guy right here. And we can just lure him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there he comes. All right, now we can just go into K-Mode. Hey, dude, come on, man. No, no, don't no, no, get your butt back over here. <laughs> All 
I hear you. Where'd this Megalodon go? Dun it. 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 There he is. I see you. Need to put a scuba tank in your mouth next time, dude. Gosh, man. You look pretty cool. All right, but now we're just going to take this guy and we're going to... He's going to try to be nipping at our butt. All right. So we're going to take this... Yeah, finally the aggro music comes in. Oh, he, he took off, dude. Don't you be peacing out on me, man. Oh, here he comes. There you go. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is why we came out. All right. Ah, uh, no, turtle. Turtle, back up. No, turtle. Uh. All right, fine. All right, let's go gank this turtle. Come on, dude. All right, this shark's gonna have that turtle dead in no time. All right, finally he's got him dead. So now he's just gotta eat him. There he goes. Come on, dude. Come, Mr. Sharky Shark. All right, so let's come over like this. Let's lure him away from the other turtle that's over there. All right, now let's slowly start working our way around. Now they're not like Argents, where you can't just like you know like lure them around all over the island. I mean, they do lose aggro after a little bit, but it's really not that big. It's really not that bad. All right, we're going to take him all the way over to that little inlet I was showing you earlier, where it's just like a little uh, natural taming pin. I could go over there, but I have my uh, uh, other aquatic dinos over there. No, 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 no. Get your butt back over. Come here. Yeah, eat me. Eat me. Done it, done it, done it, done it. Yeah, <laughs> all right. See you guys in a minute. All right, now we've got this guy inside the inlet. Now we're just going to try to take him as far in as possible to get him kind of just stuck. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. Come back. Come on. And then he'll, and once you get into the shallows, he'll periodically lose aggro, which makes it kind of hard. He'll try to keep swimming back out. But all you got to do is keep swimming back over to the deep sections, and then he'll just kind of naturally aggro on you. Because, believe it or not, these guys don't like birds. Right. That's the thing. These guys don't like birds. Get over here. Dude. And just keep aggro... Just keep... Just kind of just sitting around. And then he'll uh, come back eventually. Come on, dude. Now we wait. Bonum, bonum. It's like the theme of this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the way the current goes out of the river, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, there he is. Hey, dude. Come on. There we go. And just keep luring him in. All right. Now that we've got him up like this, now I'm just going to grab, you know, I'm just going to grab that, 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 and that. All right, cool. And run real super slow. All right. And now we'll just tag him. Come here, dude. I love the underwater combat music. It's so cool. All right, but also, since we do have our long neck, if you go right up here to the edge... Here, dude. Hopefully you're stuck. Go right up here to the edge. You can just shoot him. Hey, dude. Oh, please get stuck. Are you out? 
Ah, oh, sweet. He's out. All right. Oh, she's only female level 25. I spent all that work on a level 25. But you know what? That's okay. It's great for demonstration purposes. And then now that we've got her knocked out, now oh, we, we can just feed her um, oh, uh, prime fish meat, prime um, regular meat. Or um, also you can feed them their uh, favorite kibble, which is spino kibble. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, so yeah, now I'm going to uh, tame this girl up. We're just going to throw some stuff on her. And then it's going to take me a little bit because their torpor, it goes down really slow. And then also their food goes down really slow. So I'm just going to throw that on there. It, it, she's probably not even going to take that much. You know what? Let's give it that. But for the most part, we're just going to be sitting up and waiting. And then you guys notice that I have a uh, chair over on the other side. Well, that was actually from my very first Megalodon tame that I did on this playthrough. Where I was just sitting and waiting. Because... It does take forever on these guys. So yeah, all right. I'm going to bring you guys back and I'll see you guys in a bit. Andy's up. All right. Sweet. Okay, so now we've got this one. All right, but now that we're, uh, now that we've got this dude, what do we do with it? Well, first off, you have to craft a saddle. Let's see. Uh, Mega... Megalodon, which is kind of strange that their saddle is so much lower level than scuba gear. But then again, um... At lower levels, if you want to uh, ride your Megalodon, you can actually craft the uh, um, oh the chowder that goes along with it. It's actually kind of cool. Um, you can craft chowder that gives you uh, extra uh, time for breathing underwater. So where you can go down, you can hit up the underwater caves, do all sorts of stuff like that. All right, let me go get my flyer, and then we'll head over, craft this guy's saddle, and then come back over, and then we'll discuss some of the things that you can do. All right, now the mats to craft this saddle is actually really easy. It's uh, just some cementing paste and uh some fiber and some hide it's really not that bad and you just craft it in your inventory i had to come back over here to base because this is where i keep my cementing paste all right let's see so yeah 30 cementing paste 155 fiber 290 hide not too bad at all all right let's uh put this stuff back in here wrong button bam all right so now that we've got that done i'm just gonna leave you pelagornis there let's get over to the uh megalodon let's go take that girl out and we're back. All right, so let's put this saddle on this girl. Bam! All right, sweet. So now we've got her. We've kind of got her blocked up here on the area. And you notice that she's actually pretty dang fast. And on these guys, you can level movement speed, which is awesome. Unlike the flyers. These guys are like the flyers of the sea. Yeah. Um, but you, you notice that uh, now we have a new thing that we have to pay very close attention to. And that is our oxygen stat. Yeah, which, uh, um, if you're just adventuring out into the, uh, oh, the wilds, I would recommend getting some chowder. Yes, uh, that way there, you can hold your breath. I believe, uh, um, the chowder allows you to hold your breath for three minutes or five minutes. It's one of the two, maybe even six minutes. It's actually pretty long that allows you to hold your breath. But, um, see, since we actually have scuba gear, I'm going to do that. Now, let's see. Let's pop on the scuba gear, and let's start heading straight down. But as you're heading down into the wilds, you'll notice that uh, there's actually what they call a drop, um, or a drop off, because once you go down a certain level, um, you'll start getting big, nasty things down here. You'll get uh, plesiosaurs, you'll get uh, mosas, you'll get tussotuthuses, and on an unleveled uh, megalodon, you do not want to be fighting those guys. Um, if you're just coming down here to get oil, and stuff like that, yeah, do it. It's awesome. It's really effective. Um, you can kill a bunch of the Megalodons, or you can outrun them, um, and then just go down and farm up uh, the uh, oil and the uh, Silica Pearls. It's just, just waiting for you down here on the floor of the ocean, all over the ocean. It's really cool. But um, if, you're, um, if, if you end up having to go down below the, uh, the drop, then... Yeah, be, be prepared to fight Moses and Pleases. Pleases, they'll chase you for a long way. And then also, uh, um, oh, the Tussos. Tussos, sometimes they'll come out of nowhere and just gank the crap out of you, and they'll grab onto you. Just so you know, be very aware that that could happen at any moment. All right, so um, here, let's uh, discuss a few things up here in the shallow, safe waters up here real quick. All right, so now that we're up here, um, there's a couple attacks. There's the left-click attack. Which is just that right there. Uh, they don't have a right click attack and they don't have a C attack. Which is kind of unfortunate. So that means that while I said there was a couple attacks, there's really only one. That one right there. Bite. 
All right. Um, but also, let's discuss some builds. So, say if you're wanting to uh, go down um, into the depths, into the far depths where you could actually fight Moses and stuff like that, and you're going to make a shark um, be like your primary underwater mount, I would recommend out of every five levels, three of them go into health because you need to take one heck of a hit. Trust me. Um, because those things down there, they deal the most amount of damage out of any wild dino on uh, the island. Yeah, it is insane. So you need to um, be pay paying very close attention to how much health you have on your Megalodon. All right. Um, and also, get an increased saddle if you're going down there. Because the more uh, armor value that you have on your saddle, the better. It will make life so much easier underneath the um, waves. All right. So three levels into health, one level into melee damage, one level into movement speed. Because you really, really need to be able to go around. Um, and then I would balance the movement speed between movement speed and stamina. That way there, for say like out of every ten levels, six of them go into health. Um... Oh, two of them go into movement speed, two of them go into stamina, two of them go into, um, oh, melee damage. Yeah. Actually, four of them would go into melee damage. That way there, you've got plenty... No, no. It would be one into movement speed, one into stamina, two into melee damage. There we go. Nailed it. All right. Um, that way there, you've got a really nice, well-rounded shark as you're going through and exploring the underwater areas. And it is actually really cool down there. Um, it, it, it is. There, it's a whole new world underneath there. It, it, um, opening up the um, underwater areas, they really, really extend how big the maps can get. Yeah, it's really cool, especially on some maps like Ragnarok. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, but if you're just going to use these guys um, to go down into the shallow areas and uh, start getting some of the, uh, um, the, the mineral-rich waters that's down there, the oil, the silica pearls, um, and stuff like that, I would recommend um, at least um, two out of every five go into movement speed, two out of every five go into stamina, and one go into health. That way there you can take the straight hit, uh, you can run, you can go super fast, you can go super far, and then you can just kind of zip around underwater. It's really cool. Alright, but yeah, hopefully uh, this video helped you out. I uh, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.